What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today I'm in Reason 11, and I was brainstorming ways that I can make my template better. One of the ways I came up with was adding a reference button my master section so that when it when I drop a track in I can go back and forth in reference. Now previously I had used um flower audio in order to go back and forth for a reference, but I've since started using a new meter which is a uh, waves um loudness meter and I would like to switch those out and add a different way to reference my tracks. So in order to do that, gonna go to my master section down here and I'm just gonna add a, let's add a, a line six to make sure will work. And then over here, I'm gonna drag in a reference track. So. We could just go to file, import audio file, and I'm just gonna pick a beat that I've made. You can pick one of your favorite songs that's a major release, uh, whatever you would like to pick. Gonna pick this one, it was in uh, a previous tutorial a few days ago. Um, and I'm just gonna call it reference. And of course I can delete this later on my template and leave it blank. Um, this isn't my template though, so um, I'm not using a template so that I can show uh, the switching between tracks. Now I have that there, so let's see where it, where it created itself. Um, rack, it's over here all the way to the left. I want it to the right. Gonna move it over here. And let's go ahead and route this into this notice it did not plug up i'm gonna hit k no actually uh what is it yeah k to reduce the cable clutter so i can see nothing hooked up here i'm gonna move it up to the top um only thing that is hooked up is the reference that i just put in there i'm going to disconnect this master out and put it into the first input of the line mixer and then take the output of the line mixer and put it back into my output my final output now what I need to do is set this up here in the master section so this is gonna be the button I want to go back and forth between the tracks so reference And let's also make this uh, reference volume so that we can match volume manually if um, if we need to. And you can add like a dim button if you want to for the for the reference if you would like to. But I prefer to do it manually because you never know how loud your reference is going to be. Um, however, let's continue here in the line mixer. I want button one, which is here, but um we're gonna need two of these actually button two um button two start on button two because button one is taken so button two button two and i want to change to the solo option so right now it is off so let's go solo channel one and then for this one solo channel two right and we'll double check this in a second so right now it's on reference so my solo my reference is soloed when i turn it off this is soloed and we'd want to save it like this so let's go back and forth between them make sure it works Two guitar beats, so good references I chose, luckily. And I can just go back and forth just like that. Now let's um, change 
route this uh, knob to the reference volume. So in order to do that, we're just going to go to rotary 2, and that's going to be uh, level channel 2 level. And this will now control that. Now the default value is at 100, so we could change this to 100. So they're both on 100, and we don't have to worry about uh, the knobs being out of place. When I touch this one, it will move in time with it. Holding down shift to get the small increments. Is it shift? Yeah, it's shift. Awesome. All right, so I would save this in my template, and this will automatically be there when I start it up. That's it for my Reason Quick Tip today. Definitely let me know what else you would like to see in Reason, what other tips you would like me to share, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I'll be on TikTok soon. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.